welcome back to Pez RC. More updates on the Council Capra. So I've been doing a fair bit of work and testing and some custom job. So uh, let's take a look. First thing you might notice is it's changed colour. It's had a bit of a, a driver change. A couple of predators in there. A bit of a radiator. ESC is mounted there now. Uh, it's already starting to get bashed, but you know, it is where it is. Um, main thing, performance-wise, I changed that Nafi rear servo uh, because it was really struggling uh, for a 22 kilo Etronics, and just finished making these custom links. If you look at the clearance, it's pretty sweet. So the really basic links, as you can see, um, they're just this tube. Uh, you you measure the first one off where you think it might bend. Put it in your, in your pipe bender. Um, I put a mark. I also put a mark where I'm starting from, or try to get to the zero, and then mark there how far it's bending around to. And then once you've done one and you're great right, you obviously have to use that to measure against when you're bending the second one. And then I just stuck it in my uh, in my vice, crimped it. And then just got a, a file, filed it round and drilled a hole through it. It's just very, very crude. I also bent this one this way, bent the other end that way, just to make it sit a bit better, uh, rather than it being straight, because it was uh, under stress a little bit. So just bent the ends in the, in the vise, just to help it a little bit. Um, and if it wasn't for this, if it wasn't for this cage part here, uh, I'd probably have, well, it would, it would just flex just the same, really. Uh, but like I say, it might not be a bad thing. I'm not going to change it until I've tested it. So, the compromise is that I've lost some flex. That's as much flex as I can get now. I used to get the whole uh, 90 degrees both ways. Now, the reason for that is uh, the links that I've made here because they're str they start off nearly horizontal, whereas the straight ones would start down here and give you extra travel. Obviously, when these go up, they hit this side cage here. Now, a, a solution would be to take the side cage off, but then how would I mount the body? Uh, but another solution, if, if I'm that bothered about it, uh, is to make the skid plate that I was going to make anyway and just move the holes to the end so that they flex upwards here. So move the whole um, upper and lower link point across uh, so that it will uh, flex up. Uh, it will obviously extend the wheelbase out a little bit, which might not be a bad thing really. Um, and that would cure that. I'd probably get nearly all of my 90 degrees both sides. But I'm going to see. I mean, I wasn't sure that the whole 90 degrees was essential anyway. It's got a fair bit of flex on it still. You know, it might be that like this, having a stop point enables it to climb better. And until I test it, I don't know. So for now, I'm going to leave it as it is. Um... And then if it's not as good as I, th as I thought it was going to be, um, then I'll look at moving these across. And then if that doesn't work, uh, I'll probably just put the links, the straight links back on. Um, but we'll test them out and see how we go. Uh, progress on the Council Capra. Loving it so far. I did do a test on the motor. I'll put that video in now. This is the 380 that comes out of it. And this is the 380 I bought. You can see... There's a bit of a difference, uh, and if we look at the speed of the standard one, that's that one. Until it's in, I won't know how that translates to wheel speed. One's a turning. Yeah, I wasn't even full speed there. 
but the um the video um the the motors they um it was too fast so i've ordered two smaller ones in size and uh, 37 turn crawler motors uh so it won't try and speed off it'll give me the slow speed that i need control and more torque so i'll see how they go when they come